Why is the language of the Quran Arabic? Why was the language of the Quran revealed? If we look at the use of languages, the most commonly used languages are Chinese, French, English and Arabic. Chinese language, the languages of the Chinese branch of the Sino-Tibetan language family are sometimes known as Chinese languages. Although Mandarin Chinese is the only official language of the People's Republic of China and the Republic of China, Taiwan, there are many varieties of spoken Chinese. Although 130 million people speak Chinese, according to linguists there are 7 or 10 languages, or dialect groups, in the Chinese language group. Mandarin is the most widely used language. 70% of people in China speak this language. Outside of China. The use or influence of this language is very insignificant, French language, if you look at the history of this language, it can be seen that the evolution of this language began from the 5th to the 8th century. In the 14th to 15th century it reached its middle stage. And the modern ideal French language originated in the 19th century, English language, looking at the history of the English language, it can be seen that the modern English language originated in the 15th century, data obtained from Wikipedia, if we judge from this point of view, when the Quran was revealed in Arabic, the most influential languages of the present time were English and French. And because the Chinese language is divided into many dialects, it was not suitable for the Quran, now let's talk about the Arabic language, Arabic language, there are 2756 languages spoken in the world. Among the modern languages, Arabic is the oldest living language belonging to the Semitic language family. Arabic is a common language of the world like all other languages in linguistics. It is one of the world's largest Semitic languages. About 285 million people of the world use it as their main and mother tongue. Arabic is the national language of about 25 countries in the Middle East and North Africa. Around 300 million people in the world currently use Arabic as a second language. Arabic is second only to English and French in terms of population. However, it is reasonable to judge Arabic's position by country rather than considering the relative importance of Arabic language in terms of population, since country is much more important in the international arena than population. According to the International Language Research Center, Arabic is the official language of 25 countries in the world, and even one of the six official languages of the United Nations. In addition, the importance of this language can be easily estimated if the number of people educated in Arabic language is considered in every Muslim-dominated area of the world, it is believed that the language came into existence about 3,000 years ago, although the writing process began much later. The Holy Prophet before its arrival, the Hijaznajd region of Northern Arabia had a pure Arabic language without any written grammar. However, there are differences of opinion about how the script was introduced in Arab countries. A.D. Musla Uddin, A History of Arabic Literature, page 104, dot, The great thing is that it is the only language that is oldest and still unchanged, friends, in view of the above discussion, Arabic is the most acceptable and logical language for the Quran considering the past and present languages. A more acceptable language has never been, nor is it now, I hope those who question why the language of the Quran is Arabic and not another language understand why Mala chose Arabic as the language of the Quran.